How much is the Atlantic book? John, he wants to know how much the book is. I've got it turned on. It's, it's still good. Yes, how much is the Atlantic book? I take seven dollars for that. I oh, never opened Seven dollars? Yes, sir. Okay. Brand new. All right. Deal. So that was at a garage sale before the estate sale you're about to see. I uh, got it for seven bucks and I have it listed right now for $47.50. Really nice, big sealed coffee table book on the Atlantic. Now that guy was the coolest old guy I have seen in a long time. He had the best Greek accent and that just made me give him the $7 that he asked for. Someone else I probably would have said, you know, could you do five, but... Certain people, I don't know, do you feel the same way to just get a vibe from somebody and you're just like, all right, I'll just give you what you want, as long as it's close to what you would have uh, paid for it. So that's the beginning of uh, what I plan to introduce into the videos this year, which is some more audio interaction with people that I'm buying from or that I'm uh, doing some uh, treasure hunting around, like other customers and stuff. So uh, you'll see that in more videos uh, this year. So let's get off to that estate sale. I believe we have found it. I see people lining up at this house right here. It's a one level. So let's get ourselves ready. All right, big time tip. If you find yourself in line before the estate sale and everyone else is just standing on the driveway waiting to get in, if there's merchandise out there, start looking at it and picking stuff up if you find anything good. Here, watch this. And just like that, I picked up about a hundred dollar item and we haven't even got in the house yet. All right, let's head in. Well, I'm glad that I had this recorded so you could all hear this mysterious enchanting noise that just drew me down this long, creepy staircase. I just had to come down. Normally I'd at least give at least a side glance to the items in the garage but I didn't even take a peek at them. I just had to come down and explore. Maybe we'll find out the source of that noise a little later. It's almost as if something was calling my name. All right, so what you're looking for here is a round head slotted clothespin. That's actually what they're called. Uh, people like to use these for crafting. They could simulate people, for example, because of the round head. Now, you're not gonna get rich on these, but since most people think that they're worthless, you could get them for next to nothing and sometimes nothing. People just won't even charge you for them at checkout sometimes. So you compile them into big lots and then you sell them off at the end of the season. Uh, so remember, round head good, the regular one, eh, don't pick those up. Thank you. 
All right, now don't get me wrong, you're not going to get rich off of reselling seed packs. In a best case scenario, if you find a really good modern pack that's hard to find, maybe you could get 10 bucks out of it. But what drew me into these is something different. The fact that they are vintage. So you could tell that from the way that the price is there. You see how the 40 cents is uh, written. They just don't stamp things like that these days. And also you could see on the bottom that these are from 1976. So it says it on the front of that package. And on the back of this package, for example, it says 1977. So there has got to be a thrill that some gardeners would get out of resurrecting fruits and vegetables out of seeds that are decades and decades old. That has got to be cool. So I think that would have to be an appeal to somebody. So it's an intuition on my part. Sometimes you have to go with gut. Another thing to think of if you're getting them in lots like this is uh, sometimes, even if you just had the packages with no seeds, sometimes people would use these for crafting or for like decorations and stuff. So just different options, ways to think outside the box. Uh, well, the least you could say is excuse me, but that does remind me, a uh, Burpee is the best brand name to look for, for seed packs. And when you get back to work already, Oh, look what we're going to see, everybody. What an estate sale company should actually do when they want to protect family items from customers shopping the estate sale. If you don't know what I'm referring to, take a watch at my They Want It Back video, which I'm going to link to up top. All right, so these ink erasers are a great example of digging through drawers to look for something that other people would think is boring and probably worthless, but it really could have some good value. Uh, just one of these erasers right now is listed on eBay for 15 bucks plus $5 shipping. So I have a whole box of them here plus some extras. Now that's what people are asking. There's no solds on these, but they just don't come up often. So that's enough for me uh, to invest into it and see what we could get out of uh, the entire box. Now you'll see when you open it up inside that they are now brown, but on the front of the box, you'll see that it's supposed to be yellow. That's because they turn color over age. So the key thing to know is if they still work. So that's why I picked up some extra as well, so I could do a test. And uh, you could see here, I used some of it here, so it's a little smoothed out. And so it does generally still seem to work. This was the line that I had created, and right down below, you could see it's mostly gone. So I can now say that it works in my listing, and I'm excited to see what I might get out of that box. All right, now what you're gonna see now is one of my favorite ways of finding hidden treasures, which is going through binders and file folders of stuff that looks to the average person like worthless papers, but inside, once you start digging, you can find some valuable items. And don't get thrown off if that top surface item 
is something boring and really is worthless like a notepad, keep looking. All right, so what I would do is lot together these two vintage electrical wiring books from Sears from the 50s and 60s and ask about 20 to 30 bucks for it at start. Uh, then for the vintage mailbox uh, numbering system, I'd ask about 15 to 20 bucks for these. It's new old stock, uh, they don't make it anymore. It's not just the numbers four, five, six. Uh, they have additional numbers and you could just put that in your description section with the quantity for each. And then for the vintage college iron-on transfer, what you're hoping to find is just one buyer who's willing to pay up for this because they would want that vintage logo somewhere, maybe to display it in a fan room or in a window or something like that. So I would at least start at between $20 and $30 for this, clean it up a little bit, and acknowledge there's some color loss and stuff. All right, so now let's go to what I think is probably the coolest find of the day. All right, maybe it's just me who thinks these things are cool, but I've always done well with vintage reflectors. Uh, as you can see, it naturally hangs down in the middle like that. So what you do is you just tilt it forwards to one side and then you just stand it up like this and it would be used in the roadway uh, for a hazard alert. So I would hope to get about $50 for the lot of three. We'll see what happens. Trying to find my card. No, I have it here somewhere. Okay, take your time and I'll... Oh, here we go. Oh, I got it. I'm just walking around anyway. Yeah, I'll give it to him today. Yeah, so if you could give it to him, just tell him I specialize in comics. I deal in comic books. And okay. uh, he could just text me at that number, send pictures to it, and I'll okay. get right back to him. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'll see him later today. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, right. no problem.
right, now let's take a look in the bedroom area. Now for some reason, I'm getting this weird tingling sensation <laughs> coming over me. It's getting a little stronger near this item right here. Hey, what, what is that noise? Wait a minute, do you hear that music? Oh no, don't even tell me. I gotta turn this, oh no, <laughs> here we go. Hey, prime time. I hope you like my big water jug. Why don't you take me home with you so I could read you your horoscope? Now, wait a minute here. I don't even know if you work. You have a few stains on you that I'm gonna have to clean off here. We've got to test you out. So let's take a look here. All right, you've got this cord here. I got to plug you in. All right, I got to turn you on here. All right. Well, it looks like you should work, so uh, got to feel if it's warming up a little bit there. I think it's getting a little warm to the touch. Might have to do a little extra testing here for this one. Hang on here. There's only one way to totally know if it works here. Yep, she definitely feels warm to the touch. She's uh, helping work that leg cramp out really good. So I think we'll take her home and look at this. Lori Gonzalez purchased it for $27.50. Thank you so much, Lori. All right, so we're out of there. When I went up to the checkout area, a uh, lady who I, I've dealt with before, she's a nice lady, uh, she said, I'm not taking everything out of this box. This is, again, one of the advantages of buying stuff in bulk is that you get these bulk deals. So she said, do you have a number in mind? How much is it worth to you? So I said, $20. Keep that number in mind because that's a great number for when you fill a box up, 20 bucks a box. People just seem to feel that that number is fair enough. And it's good for you as a reseller because you'll quickly get the $20 back in like no time. So uh, that's what we did, $20 for the box and we're all set. All right, everyone, I hope you had some fun and some laughs and that this video gave you some good ideas of things to look for when you are out there sourcing. Now, before you go, make sure you check out the link to Lori Gonzalez's eBay store. I just mentioned her. She picked up that uh, mermaid heated blanket. She actually has an eBay store that's named after mermaids. It's called the Singing Mermaids Treasure Trove. It's an awesome store. I've bought things from her before. In fact, uh, just recently I bought this awesome Crocodile Warrior action figure. So I think you would really love it. The prices are great as well. Uh, so links in the description section and in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being a member and for all of your support. I'll see you back at the next one, everyone. Take care.